This year, the French armed forces intend to implement several new programs related to the rearmament of combat units. One of these projects affects the field of anti-tank missile systems. Currently, the French army is armed with several systems of this class, including obsolete models. This year, the ground forces will have to receive the first copies of the new complex, proposed as a replacement for older systems. The MMP, Intermediate Range Missile, project has been developed by the company since 2009 on its own initiative. In the future, the developer company managed to interest the Ministry of Defense, which resulted in state support for the project. Finally, in December 2013, the first official contract for the future supply of serial missiles and launchers for them appeared. In accordance with the signed document, MBDA will have to transfer 400 portable launchers and 2,850 missiles to the customer. It was planned to start deliveries of serial weapons in 2017. Subscribe to the channel, it will be more interesting. Thank you in advance. The rocket requirements were defined as follows. The complex should have the minimum possible weight and dimensions, allowing its transportation by crew forces. The equipment of the complex should ensure the use of missiles at any time of the day and in any weather conditions. It was also required to provide for the possibility of redirecting the missile during the flight and searching for targets after launch. To expand the list of possible firing positions and reduce the risks for the calculation, it was necessary to reduce the shock wave at launch. The missile was supposed to hit a variety of targets, from tanks to fortifications, destroying the selected object and causing the least possible collateral damage. One of the ways to solve the tasks and reduce the cost of finished products was a new approach to the choice of the element base. It was decided to use cost components, which, with acceptable characteristics, are characterized by a relatively low cost. The main element of the complex is the guided missile of the same name. Its design, in general, corresponds to the appearance of modern weapons of this class. The rocket with a total length of less than 1.3 m has a cylindrical body with a maximum diameter of 140 mm. A head fairing is used to accommodate part of the guidance and control equipment, as well as a small-sized leading charge of the warhead. The central compartment is given over to the placement of the main charge and the solid propellant engine. The tail contains another instrument compartment and a compact launch booster. For stabilization and control in flight, the rocket has two sets of X-shaped planes. In the transport position, they are located inside the hull, after leaving the launch container, they open by turning back. The missile is proposed to be supplied, stored and used together with a transport and launch container. The latter is a 1. 4M long plastic tube with sealed end caps and mounts for mounting on the launcher. For greater ease of use, the complex has a carrying handle and shock absorbers made of soft material at the ends, which prevent shock during transportation or storage. Throughout the entire period of storage, the rocket does not need any maintenance. The rocket container weighs 15 kilograms. In the head part of the rocket body are the guidance systems of the original composition. The specific requirements for the combat capabilities of the product led to the use of a combined targeting head with a television camera and an uncooled infrared unit. In addition, in some situations, the missile must use the built-in inertial navigation system. The used combined guidance equipment led to the need to use two-way communication between the missile and the launcher. To do this, the rocket project used a fiber optic cable stored on a reel in the tail section of the rocket. The new type of rocket is equipped with a solid propellant engine and a launch booster. A compact tail booster is used to eject the missile from the transport launch container and initial acceleration. A characteristic feature of a rocket launch is a significant reduction in the amount of emitted gases, which, among other things, allows the use of MMP ATGMs not only in open spaces, but also indoors. The risks for fighters in close proximity to the launcher are also reduced. After moving away from the launcher at a certain distance, the sustainer engine is turned on with full thrust. The thrust and speed parameters of the rocket have not yet been specified. According to the developer, the rocket is capable of flying at a distance of up to 4. 1 km. To date, only a man-portable launcher designed for use by infantry has been developed. In the future, MBDA plans to design and offer customers a modified version of such a product, designed for mounting on self-propelled vehicles. Apparently, 
the changes will be minimal and will affect only the design of the supports and the power system. The infantry launcher offered to customers is a portable system with a full set of necessary equipment. For placement on various surfaces, the unit has an adjustable tripod support. All other units are attached to the ladder. To the left of the vertical axis of the installation is placed a single block of optoelectronic equipment responsible for searching for targets and controlling the missile. On its starboard side there are mounts for a rocket. Interestingly, the container with ammunition is set at a certain angle to the horizon, which is why the rocket must be fired along an ascending trajectory. The control unit has its own magnetic compass and satellite navigation system. There is a TV camera, a thermal imager and a laser rangefinder. The signal from optoelectronic devices is displayed in the operator's site. The installation and the rocket are controlled using several levers and a set of buttons. Commands are transmitted to a fully digital control system responsible for communicating with the flying missile and generating control pulses. The same devices are responsible for receiving and processing the video signal from the missile's onboard systems. The portable launcher also has its own power supply. According to reports, the anti-tank missile system has three modes of operation. The first one is fire and forget. In this case, the operator selects the target and takes it for automatic tracking. After the command to launch, the electronics of the complex independently monitors the movement of the target and directs the missile at it. If necessary, semi-automatic mode can be used. In this case, the operator holds the aiming mark on the target, and the automation brings the rocket to it. Of particular interest is the LOAL mode, capture after launch. To fire using this technique, the operator must have external target designation data. Not seeing the target, the calculation must aim the missile at the area of the attacked object and launch. After the missile approaches the target, the operator can independently find it using the signal from a TV camera or a thermal imager. After that, the target is taken for escort and attacked. The presence of two optical channels allows you to use the rocket at any time of the day. To destroy targets of various types, the MMP missile carries a tandem cumulative warhead. According to the manufacturer, the warhead is capable of penetrating up to 1000 mm of homogeneous armor or a concrete object up to 2 m thick. If necessary, the rocket can be used in the kinetic mode. To reduce collateral damage, the operator can turn off the fuse, after which the destruction of the target is carried out solely due to the energy of the ammunition. It is alleged that the new high-power warhead allows the complex to fight both outdated or modern tanks, as well as various fortifications, buildings, firing points, etc. At the moment, only one contract for the supply of complexes is known. The first and so far the only customer of such weapons is France. A promising missile system was repeatedly demonstrated at exhibitions of weapons and military equipment, where it could attract the attention of potential buyers from other countries. Nevertheless, as far as is known, the interest of foreign armies has not yet led to the signing of contracts for the supply of weapons. Nevertheless, it will be possible to speak with confidence about the correctness of the applied ideas and decisions only after the use of a promising complex in real combat conditions. Missile systems are still far from such checks, but the imminent start of deliveries of weapons to the army and the continuation of a number of armed conflicts may contribute to sending the complex to the front line. Ты не забыл подписаться и поставить лайк.